Hey everyone, welcome back to more Subnautica. Uh, after getting the radiation suit, I wanted to actually go to the big ship to explore it. But I seem to remember something about needing like a laser cutter or something. So I'm thinking maybe for now it's best to leave that until we figure that out and go explore some other stuff. I forgot there was a radio message uh, of someone else that crashed. So let's start there. Let's go check that out. Uh, let's see. So this is a repair thingy, right? That I have. Um, 61 on the med kit. How's this game working? In? Okay, I have a ton of food and water on me. That's good. I have a first aid kit on me. Oh, I'm full health. I'm a little bit hungry, but yeah, let's eat one. Yeah, okay. Power cells on me. I think I'm good actually to just go explore the thing from the radio message. Ozzy from the cafeteria. Cafeteria, Jesus. Um, come get us already. And I think... Uh, God, all these buttons. Oh wait, there's another radio message, isn't there? Oh, it's dark. Well, time to go back in. Okay, let's have a listen. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide. So if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, okay. don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. So life part three. Ah. Uploaded to PDA. Is it that? A hundred meters stranded near a cave system and under attack. Wait, a hundred meter depth or and five hundred meters away, maybe? It's pretty dark though. I still don't know if it's dangerous to so uh, I'm recording a couple episodes in advance, so by the time you guys are seeing like the first episode, I'm hoping to be like five episodes in. Luckily, Kay, my editor, hi Kay, can give me some tips as I go, so I won't be completely like uh, clueless about things. But uh, I still don't know how dangerous it is to just go out at night. And if you've left a helpful comment on the first uh, episode then and I don't know about that, then that's why. That's what I was going at. Oh. Something nice about swimming in the dark, though. Okay, so it's 450 meters away, but it's 100 meter depth, then. Are American people watching this really confused about the meters system? The metric system? The meters slash the metric system? I wonder. Oh, it kind of freaks me out, though, if I can't see the water the surface oh is it getting lighter oh i completely lost the thing <laughs> wait did i go further away from it what was i doing no wait i was there there's two life pods Um, should I scan things? Do I need anything from here? Where are they? There are some dudes here that seem very hyper. Sea moth fragment. Okay, well that's good. It's still a little bit dark. Maybe I should wait for a light out. Let's go up for a sec. Is that fire or sun rays? It's a moon! <laughs> it's neither. <laughs> There's the thing. God, it's still so dark. I thought it was lighter under there. I'll wait for sunrise for a little bit. Sunrise! Let's check if we can see some more now. There's got to be something, okay, around here. Oh god, I don't like that, dude. They sound scary. Shouldn't I be able to find the bodies or something? They're obviously not around, but... Ooh, can I scan you? You look nice! Drooping stinger. That sounds painful.
Huh. What was that? Was it that little guy? A biter. Okay, that's not what I was going for, but... Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. There's gotta be something in here I can get, right? What's that? Oh, there! A PDA! Oh god, dude! Integrating new PDA data. Fuck off! Okay. He scared me. <laughs> He's just blocking the entrance like that. Okay, so I'm assuming that was it. Let me get one more good look at it. See if there's anything else I could scan. I don't see any other metals. Hi, big guy. So getting their PDA is like the most important thing. Oh, what are you? I want you. I don't know what you are, but I'll get you. New there. Creature discovered. Spade fish. I think that was it. I think I don't see any metals I can scan either, so let's go back up and then maybe eat a fishy? Nah, we're good. Let's go check out the other life pod. Oh my god, just stay on the surface, please. So we're there. And 650 meters away is life pod number three. Is there any way this thing can go even faster, or is this it? I mean, I'm already happy with how fast it is, but... Just checking. I feel like I'm missing, like, some button to make it go faster. Oh, a right-click changes the map thing. Oh, it's so green around here. Closer. God, the water effects are nice. 100, 100 meter? Is this one deep as well? Shallows. Oh yeah, no. It's right here. Do they have an opening? So they also just left it left a PDA. Data box. PDA data. What's that? New blueprint acquired. Acquired. Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. This is just metal, yeah. What's that? Salt deposit. Oh, I got salt! Hey! Okay, I'm not seeing anything else around this one, so... Oh! Time to go back, I think. Uh, there. Let's go home! I want to figure out how to make a laser cutter. Because I remember needing that for some doors, and when I played... I had a lot of going back and forth with the big ship. Because it was like exploring and then- oh yeah, fire extinguishers! I need that as well. There's a couple things I remember from that. I wonder if this- using this thing also saves you energy. So you get less hungry fast. Hungry- so you get hungry less fast. Okay, so now we have two PDAs, right? Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. So we visited visited both life part 3 and 17. And we got PDAs from both, but God, there's so much to check. 
These are all the things that I'm scanning. Exploitable? Acid mushroom. Wait, why is there still three? I already checked these. Maybe we went through it too quickly. Fauna, carnivores, biter! Crap, crash fish, I hate you. Sand shark, I hate you too. Gasopod, rabbit ray. Bladderfish, love you. Boomerang, Gary fish, peeper! Peeper and bladderfish are my best friends right now. Okay. Floater. Can we get anything out of them? Hmm. Flotation of sunken objects, yeah. Maybe if we need to get something to the surface, we can just attach some of those to them. Okay. Coral. Environment scan. Wreckage. Wreckage is from the Aurora. That makes sense. Okay, survivors. Life pot 17. Ozzy's log. It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero-G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cellar rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. So this is the stuff I'm finding, right? The audio logs. Radiation suit, we made that. Scanner room. I think this is the last thing I made when I played it a long time ago. Seems familiar and I was like, how the fuck does this work? And then I stopped playing. <laughs> Bioreactor. Seamoth. Seamoth! That's a little junk! <laughs> Points for that reference if you get it. Um... So Seamoth is a cool thing to get. I scanned like one part of it, right? So I probably need more scans. Oh yeah, and Kay told me that the most of the creatures, most of the eggs are um, useless until you have an aquarium anyway, so I might as well throw that away. Got some mash. Got all this cooked food that I discovered. I made a hike past the O2 tank. Yeah. Laser cutter, there it is. Ingredients unknown. I need to scan stuff. Okay, so maybe I need to go to the big ship and... Oh, wiring kit. Hey, I have that. Interior rooms, bioreactor. Hmm, a couple of things I can make that I haven't been... Okay, thinking about. Let's check the... Oh, why am I... Why do I have you out? Okay, here. <laughs> you want a piece of junk? Fabricator. We have a new fishy. Decent size, but salty. Okay. Compass. Compass heading on the on the HUD. Uh, probably want to make these. Probably bring like three or four with me to the big ship. Okay, can't make any more. Unless I make titanium from the fucking metal thing. Yeah. Make some glass. Okay, that's good. Take those with me. Uh, let's check my storage container. Okay, we can throw these away to make some space. I think that's good. 
I have three fire extinguishers. I kind of want to bring four. Um, that's all good, I think, other than that. I might need to... Maybe I should make more space, though. I don't know how much I'm going to find in the ship. And I'm maybe going to run out of space or something. Okay, that's good. Although this is pretty good, because... Okay, let me eat some. Oh, it's salty, so I get thirsty when I eat that. That makes sense. There we go. Okay, now I definitely have a lot of space. Four water and a fishy. I also still have a nutrient block, so I think I'm good on food. Um, is that another message? This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Who's this? Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. Oh, but the Aurora, Aurora is so I'll broken, we can't tomorrow. respond. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits, running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. Okay. Is that it? I was gonna say that earlier, but I was waiting for the message to end and I forgot. I really like how everything is voice acted. Adds so much character to everything. It does, it's not necessary in a game, for sure. But it does add a lot and it's really- when it's well done as, as well. Okay, so... Drop, drop, drop. Drop, drop. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna go check out the ship. There's nothing else. I checked out the pods. No new radio messages for now, so... Uh, not that one. It's on five now. Wait, what did I lose then? Oh, this is just not... Okay, I want scanner on one. Wait, where'd it go? Can I... Not... What? One. Oh, okay, you just hover over it and then press a number. Cool. There. Hey. Cool. Four. I'm figuring it out. Let's go check out the big ship. I'm assuming it's sort of similar to what I've done before. The way to get on the ship and everything. Oh, it's actually on ground. I don't remember that. Cool. Ooh, cave. Oh, no. Don't get distracted. No. <laughs> Stay on the course. No way to get on here. It's so hard that you can't recognize what is scannable when you have the sea glide out. Because I keep thinking like, ah, oh, maybe, maybe I can scan that. Maybe I can scan that. Maybe I can scan that. <laughs> but I won't know unless I actually grab the scanner. I been there? Not sure. No. Oh. And I got a PDA. Oh, is it getting dark? Shit. Didn't think about that. Okay, let's find a little place the stand and then listen to the PDA that we found. It's really dark now. <laughs> but this thing was supposed to light up my surroundings a little bit. Okay, there's a hole here at least. Ah, see that's it. 
in this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. How are we gonna do that? Yo, we're on land! Check this shit out. Warning, ship's structural integrity is low. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Yeah, laser cutter. Is conducted at your own risk. To any Altera crew. Landed in area of significant alien activity. Encountered predators in the Leviathan class, highly aggressive. Spectroscope scanner assigned species designator, Reaper. One specimen attempted to swallow the life pod, doing extensive damage in the process. Don't you dare. Only viable option is to make for the safety of the Aurora crash site. I have retrieved a data box with the creature decoy and enough resources to fabricate a couple of them. The swim's longer than the decoy lifetime, but it should just be enough to keep them busy. If you don't find me on board the ship, presume I miscalculated. Okay. Oh, this is so cool! Don't hurt me. I know those little crab fuckers. I don't like them. Let's run. Must be weird to run on land again after swimming for so long. Caution. Scans show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms contain human tissues. Uh, human tissues? What? <gasps> Was that water? water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration. Ooh, and guess I'm going this way. Ah, uh, scary. Ah, what? Why am I on fire? God, it's so dark here. Okay, got first aid kits. That's nice. Um, maybe I should have this on like a button now. How about on the sea glide? Because we're not gonna do any swimming. I wanna get in, please. Ah! Stop! I don't wanna be on fire. Okay. Ooh, battery! Nice! Cargo bay administration thinks the scan. Propulsion cannon. Black box data. Integrating new PDA data. Exiting sleep mode. Loading voice recognition. Engineer Barkley and Chief Technology oh, Officer. Oh, I hate it. it shakes like that. Drone, get me a propulsion cannon. Repulsion cannon retrieved. Hey, Berkeley. Install that circuit box with that repulsion cannon and you'll punch a hole in the cargo bay. Damn it, drone. I said propulsion, not repulsion. Recalibrate sensors. Sensors recalibrated. Sensors aren't the problem. I tweak the program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. <sighs> Drone, I know... His name's Albert now. Albert. What? I know it's not your fault, but it would really help me do my job if you'd bring me what I asked for. Thanks for your time. Propulsion can retrieved. Thank you. Now go away. Entering hibernation mode. Boss, this hobby of yours isn't making my job any easier. Or safer. Maybe so, but it's all that's stopping me from being so bored. I take a spacewalk in my skivvies. <laughs> spacewalk in my skivvies. Okay. I'm trying to keep an eye out for stuff to scan, but if I miss anything, uh, just, just do what you did for Bloodborne. Just leave a timestamp with like that thing over there, and I'll get to it. What? I'm being so careful. No more fire. Okay. Stop. Okay. Did you just go back on? Stop. Uh, flashlight. Oh, this is a PDA. Nice. 
Integrating new PDA data. Okay, did I just download data? I think. Um, anything to scan? Disk. A chair. <laughs> can I just... Oh, I can scan all the furniture and shit. Okay. Can I scan you? No. Acquired. Battery, nice. Okay, that was this room, I think? That was administration. Cargo bay. Oh, this is creepy. Wish it was a little bit lighter out. Hmm. Can I... Oh, how did I did this again? You can move this, right? Oh, does that icon mean I have a radio message waiting for me? Oh, 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 oh. I can actually counter I crouch. Not with control. There's gotta be a crouch, right? Let me check. There's no crouch. Oh shit. Well, I guess this is as far as I go then. Huh? Unless, hey, wait a second. There's doesn't seem like I can go through here, though. Even if I put out the fire. Come on, dude, you're not on fire! Oh! Oh shit, my health! Oh fuck. Well, I kinda wanted to go back anyway. <laughs> Does this work in my favor? It does. Do I still have everything? I do. Just a little bit hungry, a little bit thirsty. One through their sea creature decoy. Hmm. Propulsion cannon. One of two. That's what I scanned. Okay, let's check the radio message. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad... how many of you... I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna okay. bring you home. Sunbeam out. Hmm. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. Bad option, all right, but so are all the others. Okay, that was it. That didn't give me much news. Oh, wait, I picked up a. Oh, hi. <laughs> picked up a PDA, didn't I? Codes and clues. So here we are, finally in open space. We crossed the galaxy to install a phase gate, send ships to mine resources to build more expensive ships to install fancier phase gates. Are we trying to exhaust the galaxy or just ourselves? Use birthday, weeks before we get home, 400 weeks, uh, okay. Not enough credits, I'll try paying me. Cargo bay door, 1454. Huh. That's gonna be useful. Face gate announced for the Ar Ariadne arm. Altera launches the Aurora. Furthest reaches of inhabited space are due to expand as Altera Corp launches a newly constructed capital ship carrying a face gate bound for the Ariadne arm. Aurora will, the Aurora will travel from a space dock to the edge on the edge of Altera space, making hundreds of consecutive face gate jumps 
through nine different transgov authorities and arrive on the far side of the Ariadne arm in three months time. From there, the command crew will pilot the ship beyond the final phase gate, arriving in the next solar system approximately 18, month, 18, 18 months later. Okay. Six month construction. 9% of all phase gates. So it's phase gate is basically fast travel, right? You travel from one gate to the to the other. Like you jump. Propulsion cannon. This is what I need for those boxes. Pull the trigger once to lock on and attract a single target object weighing less than 25 kilos. Okay, so we need to find another one of those things to scan. Fuck. Hmm. But... I just found a random pot there. I didn't check if there was anything maybe on the bottom of the sea. Maybe I should get some more food. Get some other fishies. Peepers! Come here! Hunt the peepers! Let's find that other pot again and see if there's anything on the bottom. Oh my god, just stay on the surface, please. Stay... Easy, does it? Okay. Ooh, peeper! Peeper! Peeper, peeper! Got him. <laughs> peeper, peeper! Ooh, more peepers. Peeps! Come here, peeps. Ah, there you go. Oh, there. Straight ahead. Let's check the bottom this time. There it is. What's that? Lead, huh? Okay. Copper, always nice. What's this? Moon pool fragment. Huh. That goes deep. I don't see any metals down there though. Passing 100 meters. Oh Oxygen shit. That's really cost. deep. Fuck. The biomass in this area is dominated by plant life. Picking up faint or terror vehicle signatures. Okay, I can make a moon pool now. I don't think that's acquired that useful, but metal salvage. Salt. Metal salvage. What's that? Cannon fragment. Propulsion cannon! Hey, That's it! Oh shit. Other people want the goodies too. We got it! That's what we need. Oh, there's a ton here. <laughs> I guess I was supposed to find this, huh? Ooh, there's a little thingy there. There's a ton of salt around here. Nice water. Oh, disinfected water, though. Okay, let's go make a propulsion cannon. And then we can go deeper into the ship. Inventory full. No! Oh my god. <laughs> so many peepers. <laughs> Guess I should dump some stuff. Oh! Battery's out. Um, how do I put this in that? How do I replace the battery? Okay, so I want to make a cannon, right? 
Wiring kit, battery. So I just need to make a battery. Oh, only one copper ore needed. Nice. Oh, the wiring kit. Yes, we got a cannon! Nice. Okay, so apparently I don't know what these power cells are for. Let's put those away for now. Oh, only one actually. Just the one power cell actually. Um, I have water on me. I'm sure I'm gonna find more water on board. I have food. The only thing I need now is another battery for my sea glide. So I need to pick up mushrooms and copper. Shit. No, it's nighttime. No, fuck. Battery. Battery. Okay, how do I do this? Where's the battery? Oh, thank you, Chex Mix. <laughs> Whoopsie. There you go. Um, I made one of these. How do I put you in this? How do I do that? Do I equip it and then... Oh. R. Oh, that's how I do it. So I can't put a... No, just the battery. So... Can't put a power cell in there. It's working. Okay. So now I have an empty battery. Hmm. My inventory is too full to my liking. Let's take that out and then put the empty battery there. Maybe we can charge them later on. We'll dump this. I don't want to dump anything else though. Okay, that'll have to do. Oh, it's daytime! Hey, Nice! Dump that. Okay, let's go! Propulsion cannon! We got it! Now we can go deeper into ship. Wait, what was that? Damaged wiring. Use repair tool. Uh, sure. Oh, open door! Oh, shit. Uh, go up for air first. Okay. Oh, shit, what's this? Can I scan these things? Uh, four. I can't see anything in here. A flare would be good here. Fuck. Oh, uh, sea glide. Beacon again. Graph trap. Hmm. Not as useful as I thought. Too bad. Anything else here? Oh, there's another door. Can't open this one though. Do you think that's it? I don't see much more. Okay, where's the big ship? There. <laughs> Let's go. Anything in this one? Propulsion cannon. Uh, this is the one we have, right? There's a ton of stuff here on the bottom. Should have checked sooner. Inventory full. Oh fuck. Shit. Oh 
hopefully next time I will actually remember to use medkits when I get hurt. Instead of dying again. This looks so pretty in the day! Oh, return of the stiff neck. So much to grab. I want it all. Oh, you can go under. Anything here? What's in the box? Propulsion cannon. Makes a lot of sense now. That they would just put the parts that you need around the ship. Here we are. Let's go move some shit. I think I did a lot more. I said six hours in the beginning, but I was like, there's no way I could have gotten as far as I did in six hours. I think I've done more. I remember doing two streams, but maybe it was three. I think I did more than I thought. Because I also remember checking like an island or something. A random one. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Almost dreamt off. I'm still holding this. Okay. Here we are. Back in the ship. Um, so down here. This baby. How do you work? Oh. Easy. Oh, not easy. Out of my way. Where's my flashlight? Okay. Yes, here we go. Show me all the goodies. Ah! Uh, um. Fuck. We read this in one of the notes. It was note to self or something. Um. 1454. Yes! Oh my god, yes! That was cool. Did it. This doesn't sound safe, but... Let's do it. I'm here to scan things! What can I learn from you? Show me your goodies. Ooh, PDA. Data. Yes, water. I don't see anything here. This is all just crates with nothing in it. Okay. Uh, I don't want my flashlight to run out. Oh. Inventory full. Uh, I can drink some. I'm actually a little bit hungry too. Cool. 
There you go. I'll take your water, thank you. Huh? Trying to save my oh water. Um eh, let's go. Might as well check it out, I guess. Wait, it goes even deeper? Oh no, it doesn't. Okay, whew. It's like, wait, are there multiple levels to explore? But this is it. Repair tool. I got a repair tool! Let's put in, in places a knife. Ah! What's that? Ah! No, what are you? Oh my god, what do I do? Um, put the knife in the... Oh god. Oh, is it gone? What was that? Something just latched on, I was like, gulp, gulp, motherfuckers, and was gone. There it is! Ah, it's still there! Fuck off. Okay. Another PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Mm. There doesn't seem to be a fire down here, so let's put this on four. Can't see. Seamoth. Uh, Seamoth. Cool. Two out of three. Nice. Oh, another one. <gasps> I can make a sea moth. <gasps> yes. That's exciting. Oh, oh, God. Anything else I need to scan here? Can I open these doors? Don't think so. Okay, so we got a sea moth here. That's awesome. Drive room and something here. Con Bay locker room. Sealed door, cut open to access. So this is where I need the laser cutter. Okay. It's so dark in here. I don't like it. God damn it, everything I shielding sustained internal damage during collision. Do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications. Okay. Stop. <gasps> Battery. Yes. Oh. Um, what am I doing here? Warning, local radiation at maximum tolerable level. Mm-hmm. New blueprint acquired. What did I just get? Uh, data bank? Player three is eating a coconut. No longer hungry. What? What is that? Uh, what is that? This is info about Altera, I guess. So that's that. Hmm. What did I just pick up, though? Fresh can, coffee machine. Oh, there's the aquarium. Oh, I can make one already. What just jumped in the water? Cyclops engine efficiency module. Okay, that has a ton of stuff that I have no idea how to make. Seamoth! Titanium ingots. Oh, that's where it comes into play. Oh, I can make this! What? 
I know this. <laughs> Plasteel ingot? Hmm. Lithium. Bleach. Okay. Uh, let's look around here a bit more before I go back, I guess. Oh, do I repair this? No. Oh wait, maybe I do. I do! Ah. Okay, let's find them. It's like a hidden object game. Click on the damaged parts. We got this. <laughs> Jeez, you scared the fuck out of me. Ah! No, get off me. No. Oh, I got him. He did. Ah, no. Uh. Okay. Seven left. Fuck off. Jesus, there's so many here. They really hurt. There we go. One more? Ah, it's right here. Did I do it? Radiation levels decreasing. Nice. I guess that's good. Nice. I, I guess that did it for here. Now I just need to find my way out. And I need a laser cutter, but I don't know how to make that yet. We got the sea moth. Can I just go past this? Yeah, nice. Oh, no, can I? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh god, it's so dark. I hope you guys can see a little bit what's going on. I can just barely make out where I need to go. Let's go make a sea moth! Ooh! I'm excited! The sea moth was super cute, I remember. And it can take you to deeper levels, right? I should also look into that um, oxygen mask thing. So my air is more efficient under 100 meter depth, right? Let's jump in the water here. Let's dive! Let's dive, baby! Hell yeah. <laughs> Put you on one and let's go. Oh, it's getting dark. Having some hell of a productive days though. Oh, it's really dark now. Jesus. I just needed more titanium, right? Ah, uh, I just dumped that. Oh, this is not my pod. <laughs> I was like, wait, I'm already here? <laughs> ah, radio message. Ooh! I wonder if the game is like, okay, so you got your sea moth materials. So now we're gonna give you a deeper pod. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Vital signs stabilizing. That was all my water and food. Well, except for this one nutrient block. I wish you could make stuff like that. 75 food? It's so nice. Um, okay, so we're gonna grab all the titanium. How much is that? Six, seven, eight. Okay, that should be enough to make a block thing. Oh, it is an ingot. Yeah. I think I needed that. 
Um, where is my little baby? Where you at? Oh wait, is it one of those things I can't make without making something else first? Because I don't see it here. I mean, yeah, of course. I'm not going to print a whole sea moth on this tiny thing, right? So what do I make first? To make that. Navigation aid. Oh, that's cool. If you find something that you want to come back to later, you can put one of those down. I guess maybe it's the mobile vehicle bay. Oh, I was so excited to make sea moth. Oh, cave sulfur makes a flare. Oh, the rebreather. That's what I wanted to make as well. Another wiring kit and fiber mesh. Okay. Do I have another message? No. Oh. <laughs> Okay, and then for the mash, I need two creep finds. Okay. Where did I dump? Was that the one sticking through? Is that the one I dumped? I think I see it here, but. Where was it? There. I guess I can't get it back. Um, there. Got two of those. And then make a better rebreather at least. And then I need to figure out how to make the sea moth. There might be something in the data bank's description. Okay. Just gonna make. Uh, just gonna take only what I need because it's so close by anyway, and I don't want it to take up space in my inventory and stuff. Hey, fishy, I actually need you. Yeah, inventory full. Ah! Okay, make mesh, and then we are gonna make a breather. Sweet. Cool. Is that automatically equipped? No, it's not. Oh, because the radiation helmet. So I need to switch him out. Fuck. That takes up space. Can I get a bigger inventory, please? Should I make another battery? Probably. Hmm. What to dump? Okay. I think that's good for now. Um. I need food and water again. Shit. I should actually experiment with different fish because different fish might restore more protein, more f hunger. Eh. The bladder fish though is good. It's a good fishy. How about you? Gary fish. Let's try what, cooking one of those. Oh, there are my bladder fish. Water, here I come. Any other ones? There. Let's try a Gary fish. Oh, big boy. Accustomed to synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. <laughs> can too. I will. How's my character moving so much? 
Hmm. No, it's not. So what does salting them do? Because I'm worried it's just going to make me more... Healthy and nutritious meal, but keeps well. Dehydrating, but keeps well. But it's already dehydrating. Okay, let's just cure one peeper. See if it restores more. Okay, so this is... 32 plus 5. 12. Oh, that's not good. 32 minus 2. So it's only one more food, and but it also is salty. That sucks. Okay. Well, that's good, at least. Um, what now? I need to figure out what I need to be able to build the sea moth. Sea moth. That's a lot of junk. Oh yeah, I was gonna check the data bank. We got these messages. That's cool. Blueprints, maybe. Scatter room, moon pool, habitat builder. Handheld habitat builder has been an essential tool for scientists, colonists. Build on land, underwater, in a vacuum. This might be it, but I'm not sure. Fabricator. That's what we've been using, right? The sea moth. There it is. Uh, they can also be fabricated at a standard mobile vehicle bay. Vehicle bay. So that's what I need. This. Deployable station equipped with fabrication drones. Okay. Vehicle bay. I don't think I can make that yet. I've seen it though. It was in the menu, I think. Let's see it here. Shouldn't be in here. Hmm. I don't know how to make it. Oh, here! Mobile vehicle bay. Yeah, I need to scan things. I just haven't found them yet, I guess. Okay. Well, that's I'm my next goal then, I guess. Make a mobile vehicle bay so we can make a sea moth. Um, but I have no idea where I'm gonna find that. Should we just explore around? guess I'll find out. Anyway, I think I'll cut it here. We had a lot of progress, so I think that's good enough for an episode. I hope you guys liked it, and I'll see where I can find a mobile vehicle by soon. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon with more.